today's video, I'm going to be explaining one fundamental difference between screws that you may or may not have realised, and that's thread length. Some screws may be fully threaded, like this 4x40mm Classic, and some may be partially threaded, like this 8 by one and a half inch wood screw. So here's a quick breakdown of why they are different and why you should pick one over another. Screws are designed to do primarily one job, and that's to hold one piece of material to another. Certain screws do this in different ways, depending on the size, type and weight of the application that you have. To support an application securely, the threads are designed to grip into the timber and provide what we call pull-out resistance. The heavier an application is, the bigger this resistance needs to be. To maximise pull-out resistance, we suggest that a fixing should have as much threaded length embedded into the supporting timber as possible. One common drawback of a fully threaded screw is that there are threads in both pieces of the material that can become separated. This is called jacking. It happens because the threads in the top piece of timber hold it up and stop it from being clamped properly. To maximise clamping, it's important to have as much smooth shank inside the application as possible. That's why our C2 MDF and flooring screw has been designed specifically to clamp flooring boards to supporting joists. Likewise, our C2 tongue fix has the perfect amount of smooth shank to clamp tongue and groove boards. At Timco, our Velocity and Twin Threaded Wood Screws are always partially threaded, making it easier to clamp an application down. So if it's 6mm plywood or 75mm timber frame, you can still clamp it firmly. Our Solo, Classic and C2 Multi-Purpose Screws have a maximum 70mm of thread. Smaller sizes are fully threaded, so they're perfect for applications such as hinges, brackets which need a high pull-out resistance. Here's a demonstration of timber being fixed to a support underneath. This screw is fully threaded, so as the screw drives into the timber, the two become jacked apart. Another way to stop this is to clamp the two pieces together beforehand, but this isn't always possible. This screw is partially threaded, so as it drives through both pieces, it clamps together, giving a strong fixing. Our advanced wood screws now have even more features to help with clamping, reduce torque and assist countersinking. Here is the C2 decking screw, clamping the decking down to a joist. It uses a helix on the smooth part of the shank to remove any swarf around the screw as it drives through the decking board. At Timco, we have developed new methods of making our fixings do the job even better. So tune in next week for another video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.